As quickly as Medicine Hat's unmanned vehicle industry has taken flight, it could come crashing down. In 2008, officials with Megat Training Systems stood optimistically beside a robotic drone, the multi-million dollar plane in a perfect location according to specialists. With endless unrestricted skies making CFE Suffield and Medicine Hat a perfect location for training and growth. Fast forward to present day, where the international company putting down roots in our region may be forced to find new skies. MDA has a contract they have to fulfill, so they had to do something. So they went to packed everything up and moved it over to Israel, and uh, that's it for the short term. July, a Heron robotic plane crashes just outside of CFB Suffield headquarters. Transport Canada grounds all unmanned aerial flights as they investigate. The inquiry stretches over four months, a time local companies who support larger corporations in training at the base could not fly and in turn not earn. Basically what happened here was, you know, things just took longer than, than probably they should have and, and that's what's very concerning for us. Launching Medicine Hat's unmanned vehicle industry was in large part due to work by the Economic Development Alliance. Now, Director Kaylin Grover says it's time to fight to keep it here. Okay, the Heron had to go. Let's work collectively and cooperatively to bring the Heron back as quickly as possible. At the center of this controversy is the Department of National Defense Directorate of Flight Safety. They oversee investigations like the one being blamed for the loss of business in Medicine Hat. The federal agency has not returned calls to the media, leaving their side of the story up in the air. Scott Cunningham, Chat News.